In this video, we will learn how to solve logarithm equations. And we will start with the equation 1 over 3 times natural logarithm of 4 plus 3x is equal to 0 0.6. First of all, we have to get rid of the fraction in front of the natural logarithm. And to get rid of the fraction, we have to multiply by uh, its reciprocal. The reciprocal of uh, 1 over 3 is 3 over 1, or just 3, and we need to multiply both sides by 3. So the fraction will cancel out, and on the left we will have natural logarithm of 4 plus 3x is equal to 1.8. And we remember to solve any equation, we need to do opposite. And opposite of natural logarithm is number e. And you can see it on your calculator. It's right here. You have a natural logarithm. And opposite of natural logarithm is e to the power x. So... We have to do it really carefully here. It will be e to the power natural logarithm 4 plus 3x is equal to e to the power 1.8. Now e to the uh, power natural logarithm will cancel out. And on the left we will have 4 plus 3x is equal to e to the power of 1.8. This is a linear equa equation. To solve this equation, we have to have x by itself on one side. First of all, we'll subtract 4 from both sides. So it will be e to the power of 1.8 minus 4. And the last step, we have to divide both sides by 3. Now we need to use our calculator, type everything on the calculator, and calculate the value. So to type E, you have to press second, and E is right here, <clears throat> to the power 1.8. And it's a good idea to do one step at a time. Enter. Now we will say minus 4, enter. Divide by 3, enter. And we will round our answer to three decimal places. So the answer is 0 0.683. Uh, let's review uh, the next example. Uh, we need to solve this equation, and this equation is an exponential equation because our variable x is an exponent. And to, uh, to solve an exponential equation, you have to have base to the exponent on one side and the rest has to be on the other side. So the first things we have to do, we have to get rid of this uh, 3. Because we have multiplication here, we have to divide both sides by 3. Uh, uh, the next step will be e to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 17 over 3. And I will keep it as a fraction. Remember, uh, we need to get rid of e. Opposite of e is natural logarithm. It means we need to use natural logarithm to both sides. Uh, 
um, the next step, we move the, exp uh, the exponent in front of the logarithm. And we need to put the exponent inside of parentheses. This is extremely important. 2x plus 1 is inside of parentheses times natural logarithm of e is equal to natural logarithm of 17 over 3. Let's calculate a natural logarithm of e. Natural logarithm second e. And you see that it's equal to 1. So this part will disappear is 1. And any number multiplied by 1 stays the same. So the, uh, now we have 2x plus 1 equal to natural logarithm 17 over 3. Natural logarithm of 17 over 3 is a number. You can type it on a calculator and calculate the value. So we have a linear equ equation now. And we need to solve for x. We will subtract 1 from both sides. We will divide both sides by 2 and calculate. So I will start natural logarithm 17 over 3. Close the parentheses, enter. Then we have minus 1, minus 1, enter. And now we have to divide by 2. And the answer is 0 0.6367. Let's review the next um, two equations. Both of them have common logarithm. This is common logarithm of 4x plus 2 equal to um, 0 0.8. And we have logarithm by itself on one side. So what is opposite of common logarithm? If you look at our calculator, common logarithm and opposite is 10 to the power of x. Let's learn how we can use it. It means we need to write 10 to the power logarithm of 4x plus 2 is equal to 10 to the power 0 0.8. So you see uh, it will be 10 and you keep whatever you have on the left side as an exponent. And be careful here, as this is a place where students normally make mistakes. It has to be 10 to the power of whatever you have on the right side of the equation. Um, because 10 and logarithm, common logarithm are opposite, they will cancel out. And you will have 4x plus 2 is equal to 10 to the power 0.8. Now we can solve this equation. We will subtract 2 from both sides. And now we have to divide by 4. Uh, we have x by itself on one side and we have to calculate. 10 to the power 0 0.8. Enter minus 2, enter, divide by 4, enter. And the final answer is 1.077, three decimal places. Let's practice again uh, uh, this equation involved a common logarithm and a fraction. We reviewed already 
how to get rid of fra uh, fraction. We have to multiply by its reciprocal, that it's 5 over 2. And you know, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same to the other side. Here it will cancel out. We will have a logarithm. 3x minus 2 is equal to, and here is kind of mix between decimal and a fraction, so let's calculate it in the calculator. 1.1 times 5 over 2. And I have a nice de decimal that is 2.75. So equal to 2.75. We have the logarithm by itself on one side. Now we need to do opposite of the logarithm. This is common logarithm. So we will say 10 to the power 3x minus 2 is equal to 10 to the power 2.75. Nice handwriting here, please. 10 and logarithm will cancel out. On the left, we have 3x minus 2 is equal to 10 to the power 2.75. It's a linear equation. We have to add 2 to both sides. It will be 3x equal to 10 to the power 2.75 plus 2 divided by 3, x equal to, now we just have to calculate uh, our value on the calculator. 10 to the power 2.75, enter, plus 2, enter, divide by 3, enter, and the answer is 188 and 114 thousands.